and he sang uh, "Sitting on a Cock Cause I'm Gay," <laughs> and that's still. Yeah, but I will. I'm in the shower, sitting, and I just I can't. Laugh. Hey guys, how's it going? I'm on my lunch break. On my way out the door, I stopped by the parcel box, and I had a Lone Star comic shipment waiting. Excuse me, it's it's been very humid today. It's been 100 degrees all week, and uh, we had a rain yesterday, so you can imagine. But I've been really, excuse me, I've been really very happy collecting cartoony books. A lot of them based on animated series. Animaniacs, Pinky and the Brain, Looney Tunes, Invader Zim, Rocco's Modern Life, Ren and Stimpy, Beavis and Butthead, Pirates of Dark Water, Biker Meister Mars, uh, TMNT Adventures. Well, let's see what we got from Lone Star, who I always rely on for giving me fair grades good shipping and good pricing first one right here the simpsons 111 really nice very fine copy couldn't be more happy with that that looks good that just melted my heart next one Futurama Comics 24 in a fine. Looks pretty good. <laughs> I got a Wizard Comics, or Wizard the Magazine to Comics number 30. Beavis and Butthead show. Yeah, I've been wanting this issue back. I, I like this cover, the fold-out cover. There's a Simpsons one for, for Bongo. Kind of going after two. Might be uh, Rick Parker, but who knows, it might be actually Mike Judge on the cover there. From Wizard Comic, or Wizard... <laughs> The magazine guide to comics is the Beavis and Butthead Ash Can. I forget what issue this came off of, but I believe uh, like Cyber Force was on the cover, something like that. Here's a Ren and Stimpy special. Ren and Stimpy show special. Force works. And that is in very fine. It's a big book. Probably 48 pages. Awesome. Super Secret Crisis War, Johnny Bravo. Featuring the Squirrel and Hot Mamas Cartoon Network, 2014, and I got this in a fine condition. Here is Simpsons Comics 73. <laughs> I dug the cover. It made me think of a world's finest. Um, I recently sent to Davis Comic Finds, but yeah, I love this comic collector guy, uh, cast in silhouette and the floating heads. That is uh, from 2002, Bongo Comics. This one, I, I love the colors on this one. Simpsons Comics 70. Great cover, and that is in a fine condition. Look at the snakes. 
Sorry about the glare, can't really help it. The lighting here in the parking lot, it puts off about as much light as around 10 candles. Okay, have another little sip. Coconut water, cheers. Coconut water with some watermelon residue. The next bundle's a little bigger. I caught them on Labor Day weekend, so before they shipped, um, first part of my order, I went ahead and added some stuff, and uh, you know how it is, I just had to pay some more shipping. Actually, no, the shipping was all was all taken care of from the previous order. I think they maybe put on like an extra 20 cents per book, but it's not as bad as like starting from scratch. And I still haven't subscribed to a Lone Star the way my friend Big Elbow has been saying is a good, good way to go. Anyway. Oh yeah, this one right here. Love this cover with... I'm not quite sure what snowball that would be. There, there's been like eight of them. <laughs> Simpsons Comics 87 and fine. Hail to the cat. Here's a Ren and Stimpy show special. A around the world in a daze. Alright. That's cool. Egypt, Japan, Germany. U.S., U.K., Italy. Ren and Stimpy Show Special from 1994, Powdered Toast Man. Oh, covered by Ty Templeton. I gotta get him to sign this. Nice, I didn't know he did any Ren and Stimpy. He does a lot of uh, Batman Adventures kind of stuff. Batman and Robin Adventures, all that good stuff that I love. I didn't go to the recent Long Beach Comic Con. I'd actually met Ty Templeton at a Long Beach Comic Expo, the smaller of the two shows. The Ren and Stimpy Show special, Masters of Time and Space. A choose your own adventure epic. That is cool. That is so cool. And this is in Near Mint. It looks like I ponied up for a really nice copy. Yeah, I did. It's alright. <laughs> okay. Uh, gotta keep going up. Rocco's Modern Life issue 8. I didn't know they went this far into it from the Kaboom 2017 run. Yeah, I had to complete this. <laughs> Look at this communistic cover. <laughs> oh my god. Simpsons Comics 28 and very fine. A belly laugh Rebellion by a prankster's prophylac. <laughs> I can't even read that last word. Prolet. Proletriate. From Bio Comics 1997. Yep. Krusty is one of them reds. So I yelled, I like Fidel Castro right. and his beard. <laughs> The shame, the shame of it all. Simpsons Comics 228. I had to get it when I saw even Santa's little helper was ashamed of, of Homer uh, breaking day old pizza crust with a, a derelict out of a bin. The big rat, no less. Look at them just shielding their eyes in shame. <laughs> Too bad Snowball wasn't there. The 
this is another series aside from Simpsons comics. This is Simpsons Illustrated number four, Near Mint from 2012. Pretty cool. And I saw uh, Apu as uh, one of the caning Krulos uh, extraterrestrials. I had to get it. Simpsons Comics 142 on very fine minus. Just Homer plowing down on some uh, lobster there. The Flying Dutchman All You Can Eat Buffet going belly up. It's just killing it. They're bringing them crab and shrimp. Whole fish. Drama Comics 9 and a 5.5 fine from O2. This might be like the earliest Futurama I have. Futurama Comics 31 Dark Matter Happens Cape and Diaper the 3007 model from 07. Awesome. Futurama Comics 21 presented in Bender Vision from 05 in a 6.0. I could actually keep it in this bag too. I don't I don't mind anything on the back. I put a bunch of stuff on the back, but yeah, as long as that front isn't obscured, I can keep that bag, which is cool. <sighs> the Ren and Stimpy Show Interactive Special. Nice. Very fine. Very fine, okay. Simpsons Illustrated 20. I love this cover. And Near Mint, nice. A lot of these will have two sided covers, and then the back cover is sometimes even better. Simpsons Comics 95. Look at that juggling act. I love Marge with the Krusty the Clown nose. <laughs> Snowball. I like the covers with Snowball and Santa's Little Helper a lot. Oh, nice. And very fine Simpsons Comics 83. From O2. Lard Dad Donuts. <laughs> Simpsons Comics 82 and very fine. From O3. Simpsons Comics 234, fine condition. Here's a Futurama 36 and fine. This is awesome. Simpsons Comics 143. I love all the like jungle covers of the Simpsons. I just love the way this art translates to the rainforest. Simpsons Comics 138.
fine plus. It's a good looking sandwich, huh? From 08. Love the fish. Futurama Comics 79. Rocco's Modern Life 5 from 2017. That was when the run began. This one's from 2018. Another big book. Simpsons Illustrated 25. Oh man. Talk about Snowball and Santa's Little Helper. Full full-blown cat dog. Yeah, this one was a must-have. Cthulhu, Homer, Werewolf, Lisa, Igor, Bart, or like Bart's um, twin brother that they don't talk about. Um, and then some other things going on with uh, March and Maggie. Very nice. Bram Stoker's Dracula Bernsey. Awesome. Simpsons Comics 65. Just another color by. Love the color. Really cool coloring. I kind of avoid the Patty and Selma covers. Even though I like their Iguana Chub Chub, I sort of stay away from them. They have their fair amount of covers. Uh, Simpsons Comics, they're very fine. Minus issue 101. It's hilarious. That is a laugh out loud cover. Let's do this final batch a little quicker. All right. Futurama Comics 2. Slimy second issue, all right. 7.0, fine, very fine. Cool. Futurama Comics 10. This is in a 6.0. That's just a regular fine. Futurama Comics 20. Big Bender issue, nice. That is in a 6.0 fine. Futurama Comics 13. Nice. Oh. Very fine, 8.0. Futurama Comics 6 with an endless cover. 8.0. Some of the Layla covers are a little expensive. This one I, I think was only like 550. Issue 51 and VG. So what do they call that? A 5.0. Straight up powdered toast man in fine condition. It's a Ren and Stimpy show special. Oh god, that's great art right there. And Marvel Age. 134 with fine condition from 1994, right before Beavis and Butthead got their own comic. And that's it. Thanks very much for watching. I have a. I just completed the Ren and Stimpy run and the Beavis and Butthead run. I'm trying to make a video for them soon. And um, also uh, working on the Invader Zim run, but. I think I have maybe like 10, 10 more to go on that. But anyway, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Beautifully over the template of yeah. well, it's like sitting it's on the, the dock by the bay. It's the last thing Otis Redding thought he was setting up. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's the yeah, last exactly. thing oh, he saw. No he was, I'm going to help right. some guy.